Hello everyone, Pat Dorsey from the Blue Quill Angler. In addition to having a thorough selection of single midges, you'll also want to carry some clusters in your arsenal of flies. Today I'm going to tie a high-vis Griffith gnat, which over the years has truly been one of my most effective cluster patterns. I'll begin by clamping a Tiemco 101 into my vise and securing the thread with a jam knot behind the eye of the hook. The first step is to tie in a post which is comprised of cerise darlon. We'll secure the darlon at about the 50% point on the hook shank and secure the butt ends then we'll grab the darlon and put a thread wedge in front of the post. Then we'll take and bundle these up with a clockwise rotation around the post or wing and then advance the thread back towards hook bend. The next step is to choose two fluffy pieces of peacock which I prefer to take from the peacock eyes as opposed of using strong hurl. I'll clip about one half of an inch off the tips and I'll tie those in because that is the most flexible portion of that quill and has a much thinner stem which reduces the fibers from being matted down. I'll tie in a grizzly Rooster, Whiting Farms Rooster, with the dull side up, and we'll advance the thread forward in front of the wing, just short of the eye of the hook. We'll take our two pieces of peacock, and we'll palmer those forward, creating a nice fluffy abdomen, which will be very, very representative of a bunch of midges crawling on top of one another. A lot of movement. We'll take a couple material locking wraps to secure the peacock in place. And the final step will be to palmer this grizzly hackle forward. And this is where you can choose to either palmer it very heavily or to hackle the fly lightly. I typically like to hackle them heavily in the event that I want to support a dropper off this fly as well. We'll take a couple material locking wraps behind the hackle and a couple material locking wraps in front of the hackle. And we'll remove the hackle and then whip finish. I typically tie this in sizes 14 through 20. Larger sizes are nice cluster imitations and smaller sizes work well for single midges. Clip off the excess thread and the only step left is to trim off the wing. And I'll typically fluff that out with my finger. And there you have the completed high-vis Griffith net.